Welcome to Friday Night Robberies, but tonight, Ragsdale takes on Southeast Guilford right here on Friday Night Robberies. Friday Night Robbers. I'm Walter Johnson along with Alan Hooker and we welcome you in to Ragsdale versus Southeast tonight. I tell you what Alan, one team comes in one and four does Ragsdale but they had a huge win against Northern Guilford and Southeast Guilford after starting their year off like gangbusters have kind of fallen back to three and two. What do you expect tonight out of this ball game? You know Ragsdale has been tinkering on just figuring out just kind of getting over the edge. Every single game that they played, they've been in, and just small, minor miscues has kind of caused them to be on the losing side. But that big win against Northern gave Coach Borkin an idea, this is what my guys can do. And of course, Southeast, they're coming in prepared because that guy, quarterback, <laughs> Bryson, used to be the quarterback here in Ragdale. So he has a different kind of emotion, but that big win against Devin shows you what they can do. And of course, they hit the wall against Grimsley, but this kind of team can really turn it on. They've got some weapons that keep them out. Right, but for Ragsdale, I'll tell you what, Devin Hextall starts as quarterback. He has 400 yards passing, along with five touchdowns. Deshaun Collier, who we talked about earlier, this guy, 336 of his 400 yards passing has gone to Collier. So this guy gets it done, also four to five touchdowns. And then the big man, Carl Stevens, number 40 on defense. Oh my gosh, he's a man among kids. What have you seen the South? I mean, not Southeast, but Ragsdale so far. Ragsdale's defense is one of those kind of defense that swarms around. Yeah, they've got some good bodies and the kids look good, but they're well coached. They're fundamentally sound. You're not going to fool them. So you really have to come with a great game plan. But Ragsdale, the way they handle their, their interior line, is really going to be a contender tonight. I'll tell you what, for Southeast on the other side of the ball, you talked about Bryson Serrano. He has a lot of axes to grind tonight because he left here. He comes in averaging or throwing for 443 yards, seven touchdowns so far in the year with a huge game against Dudley. I tell you what, and on defense, this guy Jordan Dollar, oh my goodness, six foot four, 255 pounds. This guy flies around. He doesn't have but 23 tackles on the season, six of them, um, four sacks, and six tackles for losses. So whenever he goes, he goes and gets. Walter, he's a power five body. I mean, just the way he looks, but he moves well, too, which makes it very difficult for high school guys to be able to deal with. He's a guy that's going to play definitely on Saturday, prime time, with an opportunity for a Sunday afternoon opportunity. Well, I tell you what, but there's for, another kid by the name of Cam Williams that's for oh Southeast goodness, yes. that is extremely special, and they do a lot of different things for him. They put him in the slot. They put him in the backfield. Hey, one more round of applause for well. the Ragsdale well, marching what, folks, Stay tuned for all the first half highlights right here on Friday Night Rivals. And now, please remove your hats to honor America and those who support our freedom at home and abroad.
block the Falcons will take over at their own 40. game going on right now. Southeast is ahead 7-0 in what's been a defensive struggle all ball game long. Both defenses have looked stellar tonight. I tell you what, other than a fumble by Ragsdale with about two minutes left in the half that led to a 16-yard touchdown by Cameron Williams, this game would be all 9-11-0. But Cameron Williams' 16-yard touchdown puts Southeast up 7-0 at halftime. Stay tuned for all the second half highlights right here on Friday Night Rivals. Hey, 
Davion Diggs on the kick.
seven with a minute 32 remaining in the game. especially in the second half, but talk to us about the first half. It was a, a heck of a defensive battle, and you all kind of got on the board early. late. Well, you know, it was, it was hard fought. You know, we knew the, the weather with the wind would be a factor tonight. You know, they're big and strong inside, and we knew we had to throw the football, get football, but the wind kind of affected us in the throwing game, and, you know, we were able to, Cam did a great job on that run play to get us uh, ahead, so you know, that was good for us tonight. Defensively, played very stout, had two or three takeaways. Talk to us about how important those takeaways were. You know, I just told them just, just now, defense wins football games like that. It was a great effort by our defense. You know, our, our defense swarmed the ball all night long. They made a couple plays. You know, we made some plays at the end of the game. And, and again, that's stuff that you need to win football games in conditions right. like this. Well, bounce back game for you guys, because you all have, have, have trotted a couple. What did you do to motivate the kids this week in practice? Well, you know, I don't know. It was so much with me motivated. They realized it. The kids realized it. You know, we got a, you know, a lot of seeds on this football team. We, we beat up a little bit. Cam came back from a shoulder injury. He's still not 100%, but he's a warrior. Uh, so the, the kid the kid wants to be on the field. He does great things for us defensively and not able to play defense right now. So he did a great job tonight. Coach, congratulations. Southeast wins 32-7. to Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Cam Williams. Again, I'm Walter Johnson. I'm here with the victorious running back, wide receiver, the guy that gets it done and got it, got it done all night long today, Cam Williams. Cam, first of all, great game. Uh, three touchdowns, especially, and you started it off with a 16-yard run at the end of the first half. Talk to us about what you saw on that play. Uh, the line blocked well. I just had to hit the hole and help the team out. That's all. The line held up. We've been struggling. We lost the man, but we got to step up for now, you all struggled a little bit in the first half, kind of got rolling a little bit in the second half. As a senior, what did you say at halftime to kind of motivate your team? Nothing really. We all won as a senior heavy team, so we got to get the job done. We all want to be We all want to be great. So we find each other, help each other kind of. That's all. First of all, folks, 16-yard touchdown run, 75-yard kickoff return when the game was on the line, and then he closed it out with a 28-yard touchdown reception. You are our Friday Night Rivals MVP of the week, and we want to congratulate you. But talk to us about that 75-yard kickoff return. My team said we needed something. It's like, can not get it done? So I had to get it done, still the game. That was good. Really, after that touchdown, I celebrated my teammates. Cause if it, I would never score the point for them. Folks, we thank you for watching me. Congratulate Cam. You'll get a chance to see all the highlights of him today. Plus, we're coming back with the play of the game for Friday Night Robbers. Stay tuned.
Friday Night Rivals again with Walter Johnson. Great game tonight by Southeast. They're victorious 32-7 over Ragsdale. And those guys really got it done. So we thank you for watching. And as always, you can check us out on GCS TV 2 and on TENWebTV.com all year long for the greatest in high school sports right here on Friday Night Rivals. Students travel to Weaver from their home schools. We offer advanced CTE courses in apparel design, automotive technology, collision technology, construction technology, diesel technology, culinary arts, Adobe Academy, drafting, HVAC, electronics, health sciences, metals technology, and media productions. Our CTE students consistently take top honors at the national level at SkillsUSA and other CTE competitions. Check out our school website and our YouTube channel, Weaver Stairwell Sessions, to see and learn more about Weaver Academy.